Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to build a client that calls our cell site HTTPS Spring Boot app using REST client REST template in combination with SSL bundles. Okay, let's start at startup Spring Boot IO to create our client. So we're going to use Gradle, Java, Spring Boot version 3.2.4. We'll name this project SSL HTTPS client demo, Java 21, and only swap dependency is enough. Okay, so I already opened it here in my favorite IDE. So we have only web dependency, right? Okay, so, uh, let's rename this one from Robert to YAML and delete. Okay, first we need to create a REST client or REST template, depend on your favorite. For the sake of this demo, we will create both of them together. So the best practice is to create them from their own builder. So I'll put it here. So what advantages we can get when we create it from builder. So for example, REST client builder for REST client and REST template builder for REST template. So if we go to REST client auto configuration class, so we can see that not the REST client bin itself is created automatically for us, but the REST client builder. And by using the this REST line builder bin, we can take advantage of Spring instead of the AR old empty one. For more detail of REST client, let's leave it to a separate video. Okay, here the base URL is https localhost a443 to point to our server in the last video, right? A443. Similar to REST template, we're going to have a root URI here. Okay, let's move on to create our hello controller that will auto wire these beans. Commonly, these beans should be auto wired in a service client layer to separate the concerns. But for the sake of simplicity, we will put everything at our simple hello controller here. So we are going to have two methods hello and hide, one using REST client and one using REST template. They are both going to call hello of our cell site HTTPS server. Let's run it and test our APIs. So we're gonna run our server from the last video. And we run our demo. Okay, let's send to slash hello localhost ATATs hello. So we encountered an error, right? Error say that unable to find a valid certification path to the requested target. So it's because our client app didn't trust the certificate of our server, since it was self site. So one way to solve it is to add the cell site certificate to clients just start so the client can validate the server certificate and to add a trust store let's go to our application of yaml here so we're going to use string.ssl.bundle and as you remember we use using bam file this is the name of the bundle so in this client bundle we're going to have a trust store and this is the certificate of our trust start. So here we need to specify the path to our server certificate. Let's create a server and insert. And we're going to copy the server certificate from our server. Our server certificate, put it here. Okay, then update server server of CRT. So by that it means we believe the certificate. So normally a doc CRT file should contain one certificate chain like this. So it a chance include our server certificate and intermediate certificate. And the last one is root cell site certificate. 
because we are using the cell site, that's why the chains only have one certificate. Okay, to turn it back. So if we look at a normal website, for example, google.com, So we will see this is our server certificate. Above this is an intermediate certificate. And on the top of this is our root CA certificate. So if we look at the server certificate subject, we will see the common name is actually the domain. And this common name is validated when client validates the server certificate as well. So we were seeing the Google domain is same as the common name here. Let's take a look at the issue word. So the common name of this issue word is GTSCA1C3, right? Is actually a intermediate CA certificate. So all organizations and CS country. It means that this one is the one that cite their server certificate. And if we look into it, we'll see each word of this intermediate certificate is GTS root R1. So basically, this intermediate certificate is cited by the one above. And the each word of this one is Excel. You see, the common name is the common name of the each word is GTS root R1. So same with Excel. So the issue and the object is the same. So it's a cell site certificate and we note it's a root certificate. Normally Java GRE or operation system or some browsers has its own trust store that contains a list of a famous CA certificates, both root and intermediate like this. That's why we don't have to manually add a trust store for this well-known certificate. Okay, let's back to our cell site certificate. Seeing it's cell site certificate and nobody know about it, we need to add it to our trust start. Okay, once we have the trust start, let's add it into our infrastructure. Here. So for REST Lion, we go into auto wire REST Lion SSL and we add apply SSL from bundled client this is bundle name right yeah more so our bundle name is client then okay for rest template set SSL bundle and in here we go into auto y SSL bundle Client. So where this come from? For REST Lion SSL, it come from REST Lion Auto Configurations, as same with REST Lion Builder. So we have REST Lion SSL Auto Configured first. That's why we can auto wire here. For SSL bundles, if we take a look back, the REST Lion Auto Configuration, we saw. To create a REST Lion SSL, we have SSL bundle auto configured even before that first. And where it's come from? It's come from SSL auto configuration. Here's the last one. Default SSL bundle registries is an implementation of SSL bundles. Okay, so good so far. Let's restart our client. Okay. Send hello again. So we still run into an error. And this time, we knew that as a client, we are validating a server certificate. We are calling the domain's localhost. But do you remember the common name of this certificate is... Sales size 
2 from the last video. Do you remember? So what you can do is you can update the base URL to cell site here, pay your cell here to cell size of tools and update your host file to map cell size of two to the IP 127.0.0.1. For this video, to keep it simple, we'll create a new search for the server with the common name is localhost. Okay, let's back to our server. Let's meet. Let's create. Our new certificate. Let's go to the server certificate, server cert, and in here we're going to create a new server certificate, and the, our common name will localhost this time. Okay. So let's check because we have a hot reload enabled. Okay, now our hot reload enabled on our server, so new certificate is applied. Let's copy our new certificate server of CRT to here. Override. Okay. And in client side, we don't have hot reload. So we have to restart client to apply new certificate. Restart client. And okay, let's test it again. Hello. And now we can see the response. Hello world from our server. Okay, it's called to. And let's try for rest timelet. Slot high. And hello world as well. Okay, one thing worth mentioning here is being aware when using apply method with SSL from bundle. So if we check out SSL from bundle implementation, we'll see it's similar to this. So from bundle and we get the bundle from SSL bundle right and from bundle actually this one. So I'm going to copy it back to application so it will be the same configuration here so for example build a one build a one hmm. and the bundle here is, is should be from this one bundled as a bundle dot get bundled client So two applies here support the same functionalities that as a request factory to this builder. So they are the same builder. So if you are using apply SSL from bundle in combination with a custom request factory, for example here, request factory, the later will take the road. Because when you use apply SSL from bundle, so it's actually set a request factory to this builder. And now you set its request factory another time. The later we override the beginning. For example, let's create a GDK request factory. So here we're going to create a GDK like an HTTP request factory with the connection timeout is one second and the response timeout is 10 seconds. Then we put it here. Beside that, we also keep the SSL setting here. And if you are expecting we have both the ZDK request factory with the connection timeout, response timeout, and SSL, it's not gonna work this way. Okay, let's check it. Let's put a breakpoint at hello controller to see the rest line at the end. Okay, let's restart our server here. So take a rest line. We'll see that the request factory now is the GDK request factory. It's not the HTTPS request factory, just move on. 
send some request to hello. And this time, we're going to receive the old arrow again. Because the GDK request factory take over. Okay. Let's roll back. We don't even care that. And and restart again. So we will see this time our rest time less is a simple client HTTPS request factory. And with HTTPS request factory, so we can be able to call to our cell side server. Okay, one test again. Hello world. So be aware to you apply SSL from bundle and request factory together. Next step, let's move on to our server. This time let's enable SSL Lion authentication. Servers. It means that clients had to have its own certificate as well. And from the server side, we'll validate our client certificate. Okay, let's restart our server. Now server required client authentication. And let's send a request. Okay. So now we saw an error but certificate from server. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on HTTPS for our client. So we're going to create client cert. Uh, CD client cert. And we're going to create a client of keys and client of CRT, a key and certificate for the client. And the command name, we will name it SSL HTTPS Lion. The password, 123456. Then we're going to have here. Let's set up a key store, key store for the client bundle. And we have to enable this bundle. Okay, now we enable the client bundle for our server and we will listen on HTTPS port 8080. And since this client cert is cell side as well, so we need to update our server to trust this client cert. So we do the similar thing we did with our client in server. We're going to create client folder cert. cert. And we're going to copy our client cert here. And adding a trust store. Okay, restart server. And restart our client as well. Okay, then let's try to send request to hello but this time using HTTPS okay and because yeah cell site then advanced process localhost and we see from lion now we successfully send a REST call to our server with client authentication enabled on the server side okay that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for taking your time watching this video and the series Hope you can learn something new here and see you in the next video. Happy coding.